Greetings and salutations, people of the internet. This is Master RBG. And I know it's been a long time coming, but I finally decided that I'm going to play Fortnite. Just like everybody else. I honestly don't know a whole heck of a lot about the game, but uh, I heard something about a Drake and a Ninja. And the title is Fortnite, which is an old English time thing, basically like two weeks or thereabouts. So given that information, I'm thinking it's something to do with a ninja in a medieval fantasy world, maybe? I don't know. Guess we're about to see. Anywho, let's get right into it. Let's play some Fortnite. Okay, where are those drakes at? Wait a minute. This, uh... This doesn't seem very European folklore-ish. Yeah, I don't see any ninjas. Okay, that gun definitely does not look European to me. And now... Now we're on a flying bus. Well... Air balloon bus, technically? I don't know, either way, this looks way too modern for it to possibly be medieval folklore related. And I still see no ninjas. Uh, give me a little bit on this one, folks, okay? Twelve hours later. Okay, so there's not a single drake or ninja in this game anywhere. It's just a Hunger Games ripoff. Oh hey, found a weapon. Sweet. Although I feel a revolver may not necessarily be the best weapon in the world, but hey, I'm optimistic. This might work well for me. Who knows? Okay, so as it turns out, you can actually build stuff in this game. So maybe it's not a total ripoff of Hunger Games. I just gotta get this sweet weapon from up here and... Oh! What the heck? And... Now he's taking all the stuff I was gonna get. And the stuff I already had. Lovely. Okay. I'll readily admit, this may not have been my greatest moment. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta fail in order to succeed. Gotta learn from your mistakes and do better in the future. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So, now that I have a general gist of what the game's actually about, maybe I can do a little better next time. The wheels on the bus don't do a thing, don't do a thing, don't do a thing. The wheels on the bus don't do a thing, cause we're flying through the air. The wheels on the bus do diddly squat, diddly squat, diddly squat. The wheels on the bus do diddly squat as we fly across the island. Woo! Thank goodness, it was starting to get cramped in there. It feels so free. This glider thing's actually kind of cool. Might have jumped a little early, though. Now I'm free. Free falling. See? Two song references. One video. Aren't you lucky? Haha. <laughs> okay, for real now. Deploying the glider again. Okay. So, while I was on the bus, I came up with a plan. Just gotta stick and move. That door is open. Someone's been here. I need to get out. Need to get out. Just need to stick and move, and I'll be safe. Because if I stay in one place for too long, like last time, I will end up dead. Brutally murdered, and then pretty much looted by whoever murdered me. Which is not fun. So, other than sticking and moving, the only other plan I have is I need to get a weapon. Aha! A weapon at long last. There we go. Alright, I'm, I'm feeling better. Got myself some crafting materials here. And I think I'm good to go. Yeah. Feeling, uh, feeling a little more confident this time. It's not a pea shooter like it was last time. I think luck's finally starting to turn around. Oh, hey. There's a purple thing up there. Okay, I need to I need to see what that is. Like, if we're going by, like, destiny rules, 
then green is just uncommon, blue would be rare, which makes purple legendary. So that's like a two level upgrade from what I've got. Let's see if it really is a weapon. Oh yeah! Oh wait, it's a launch pad? What good's that gonna do me? Ah, swizzle sticks. Well, time to get the heck out of Dodge. Stick and move. Stick and move. Okay, so sticking and moving has served me pretty well so far. But it can only get you but so far. You need more. Like a shotgun, that'll help. Pump action, yes, thank you. Okay, and uh, not a lot of... Oh, there's a shopping cart? I can interact with a shopping cart. I have no idea why this is a feature, but I'm using it. Ooh. More loot. This must be a lucky shopping cart. Excellent. Alright, I feel I feel a little less exposed. Thank you, lucky shopping cart. Oh yes. Nothing like rolling around the city with my lucky shopping cart. Be gone, other shopping cart. I have no need of you. I have the lucky one. Uh-oh. I heard some shooting in the distance. I need to hide. I'm sorry, lucky shopping cart. Lord willing, I'll be back for you. Ooh. Another blue gun. And ammo. Is there a door? Can I get to a door? Okay, there's no door. Um... Okay, no choice. There we go. Yoink. Very nice. Uh oh. Okay, I think I've been in this area too long. I need to go. Need to escape. Stick and move! Okay. Only 17 players left, and I'm, to be perfectly frank, just as surprised as you are that I'm one of those 17 remaining. Although I don't care for the fact that the map is shrinking, and I'm basically forced out here into open water where I'm very limited in my options to maneuver and hide. There's no cover out here in the water. Just a sitting duck, waiting to be... Shot to heck and back. But somehow I made it safe. Amazing. Yeah, I talk about being a sitting duck, but then I just waste time gathering materials. I'm not sure what to do here. I could just wait here for when somebody inevitably turns the corner and then I could just murder them. But I'm going to share a tiny secret with you. I actually suck at shooting in this game. I know, I know, it, I'm as surprised as you. Honestly, I'm pretty good at shooting in other games, but this one? No, never got the handle on the mechanics. No one so far. But there's an obviously built structure right there. So I'm going to go over here. Just to play it safe. Just to err on the side of caution. Huh. No activity yet. Weird. Okay, but now we're down to like 11 people. So there's action somewhere, just not here. Okay, found some sweet loot. Small shield potion, don't mind if I do. There's no one around apparently, so drink up, be merry. And the map is going to get smaller. Mm. Okay, well, time to say goodbye to my little island paradise. And I now know exactly where the fighting is taking place. And I'm heading right to it like a schmuck. Once again out in the open water, where I could be finished off by anybody. But you know what? 
I'm feeling pretty confident. I mean, there's only like five players left. I got full health. I got a 50% shield. I got some decent weaponry on me. I might be able to do this. Why, I'm practically unstoppable. I even got the element of surprise, because I'm probably the only player not currently duking it out right in that area over there. I can do this. Can't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm gonna be shooting people. Can't stop me now. Oh yes. I can do this. Wait, what? What what's going on? Why why is it loading? Curse you, subpar internet connection! Curse you! Well, that, uh, that was an interesting experience. One that I won't soon be forgetting. And probably after watching this, neither will you. Anywho, if you enjoyed my pain and suffering in this, why not hit that like button? If you'd like to see more of my nonsense in the future, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can know the very moment that I upload new content here on YouTube. And if you'd like some other suggestions for videos made by yours truly, then how about these? Over here you can check out my review from last week for the last day of June. Or you can check out over here and look at my last Let's Play Abridge for Galgun Double Piece. Check out either one, they're both fantastic, just like you guys have been. Until next time, this is Master RBG, signing off.